Yes, this is cross-through ventilation. We cut the hole this morning. It's one o'clock. I just got here from after lunch. And we did it all with a, or I did it all with a skill saw and a carbide tip blade and a saw saw on the wood here. A uh, skill saw with a carbide blade will cut through uh, corrugated roofing uh, handily. It destroys the blade, you know, this is about, as, it was an older blade, it was a used blade, and I pretty well wasted it. Um, but it's the fastest way possible of doing it. Um, you can see this, I left this 1x12 at the top. I may have to cut in, groove into it a little bit to run the new rafters. Uh, but I'd like to leave it as much as possible because it makes putting the ridge cap on much easier gives you something to screw to but so far that's it so I think it's possible to get it done by the end of tomorrow or we'll be real close it's supposed to start it's Tuesday today it's supposed we got 20 percent chance of rain Thursday I think we'll have it capped off pretty good You can see I left the ridge cap in place, and we're going to put a 20-inch ridge cap up there. And our Prompt 2 roofing jack is screwed into the, the, the rafters, uh, which will have to be sealed after it's removed. A um, long time ago, I put this stud through the roof, and you can see I've got cables on the end of it. But we actually made a ladder that fits in the end right there and can come up a way so if we need to climb on the actual roof which we will uh, at some point or another we'll, you know you can't walk on this roof so you have to have a ladder coming up with each side when you work on the, the appropriate side so uh, that's what it looks like up here